Eritrean troops in Somalia, a growing threat to Ethiopia's regional stability. Hello and welcome, I am Jalani Tesfaye and this is News Analytica. The Horn of Africa has long been a stage for complex geopolitical maneuvering, with Ethiopia often finding itself at the center of regional power struggles. In recent months, a new alliance appears to be taking shape, one that has Addis Ababa on high alert. Eritrea, Egypt and Somalia, countries with varying grievances against Ethiopia, are cementing ties that could reshape the region's political landscape. The presence of Ethiopian troops in Somalia, ostensibly for peacekeeping, has taken on a more ominous tone, raising concerns that their mission extends beyond stabilizing the conflict-ridden nation. The Growing Axis Recent diplomatic engagements between the leaders of Eritrea, Egypt and Somalia have signaled a burgeoning alliance that many analysts interpret as a pointed effort to counter Ethiopia's growing influence. A meeting in Asmara between Eritrean President Esaya Saforki, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed produced statements focused on regional cooperation. However, the subtext is hard to miss. Ethiopia is being increasingly isolated in a region it once dominated. This convergence of Eritrea, Egypt, and Somalia is seen as a deliberate effort to challenge Ethiopia's strategic ambitions, most notably its quest for access to a Red Sea port, a long-standing aspiration that has repeatedly frustrated relations with Eritrea and Somalia. Historical grievances and new fault lines. Ethiopia's strained relations with its neighbors are not new. Eritrea's contentious relationship with Addis Ababa dates back to the brutal border war that ended in 2000, and while a peace agreement signed in 2018 seemed to signal a new era of cooperation, the detente has since faltered. Tensions were exasperated during Ethiopia's civil war in Tigray, where Eritrea initially allied with Ethiopia before growing cool on the peace accord that followed the conflict. Meanwhile, Ethiopia and Egypt have been at loggerheads for over a decade over the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Egypt, which relies heavily on the Nile River for its water supply, views Ethiopia's dam as a direct threat to its national security. Though the GERD has been a focal point of bilateral tensions, Egypt's recent military aid to Somalia, combined with a historic first visit by President Sisi to Eritrea that has caught Ethiopia's attention. In Somalia, where Ethiopia has traditionally been a strong backer of the federal government's efforts to combat the Al-Qaeda-linked group Al-Shabaab, relations have taken a sharp downturn. Somalia's displeasure stems from Ethiopia's decision to sign a preliminary agreement with Somaliland to lease parts of its coastline. To Mogadishu, this move undermines its territorial claims over the breakaway region. The fallout has pushed Somalia into closer alignment with Egypt and Eritrea. Eritrean troops, a question of intentions. At the heart of this evolving crisis is the role of Eritrean troops in Somalia. While officially stationed there to support peacekeeping efforts, analysts question whether their presence is part of a broader strategic calculus. Eritrea has long been viewed as a disruptive force in the region, often pursuing its own interests at the expense of wider stability. With Egypt's backing and Somalia now seemingly joining this coalition, Ethiopia faces the prospect of a coordinated regional effort aimed at curtailing its influence. Somalia's government denies that these meetings are aimed at Ethiopia, asserting that the tripartite summit was focused on cooperation, not confrontation. Addis Ababa is our neighbor, a Somali official stated. We don't think this has anything to do with Ethiopia. Yet, Ethiopia's leadership remains unconvinced. The deployment of Egyptian military equipment to Somalia, alongside Eritrea's increasingly assertive posture, suggests that this alliance may be positioning itself to challenge Addis Ababa more directly. Ethiopia's historical resilience For Ethiopia, this geopolitical shift presents an existential dilemma. The country has long prided itself on its military and strategic resilience, standing firm against colonial and external pressure for centuries. Ethiopia's national pride and history of defending its sovereignty is well known, yet this latest crisis strikes at the core of its regional aspirations. Prime Minister Abiy's administration faces multiple fronts, the delicate post-war recovery following the Tigray conflict, internal ethnic tensions, and now the prospect of regional isolation. Ethiopia's desire for a Red Sea port remains a sticking point in its relations with Eritrea and Somalia. Meanwhile, 
Cairo has made no secret of its intentions to curb Ethiopia's regional influence, particularly regarding the Nile River. The path ahead were a diplomacy. The central question now is whether the world will intervene to de-escalate the rising tensions or if the Horn of Africa is on the brink of a new protracted conflict. The stakes are high. Another war could have devastating consequences, not just for Ethiopia, but for the entire region. A conflict involving the axis of Eritrea, Egypt and Somalia against Ethiopia could destabilize the broader African continent, attracting the interest of global powers who have long had strategic interests in the region. The international community, particularly Western and African Union mediators, must now weigh in on whether diplomacy can avert another flashpoint in a historically volatile region. Will Ethiopia's adversaries push forward, risking confrontation, or will cooler heads prevail to preserve this fragile peace? As Ethiopia navigates this evolving geopolitical landscape, it must reconcile its historical resilience with the modern realities of diplomacy, regional alliances, and strategic interests. Whether Eritrean troops in Somalia are there for peacekeeping or something more, Addis Ababa must now contend with a potentially formidable alliance forming on its doorstep. For Ethiopia, the stakes are clear. It faces not just a regional rivalry, but the possibility of being boxed in historical adversaries. What remains to be seen is whether the world will stand by as this tension boils over or act swiftly to contain a conflict that could alter the course of the Horn of Africa's future. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.